Hi and welcome students. In today's Windows 10 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a new document in an Office Online app. Let's get started. Alright, so you'll see that on my computer here, I've went to OneDrive.com and it took me to this page right here. Now, occasionally you'll be using a computer and that computer will not have Microsoft Office on it for whatever reason. And you may need to open a Office document or you may need to create a new Office document or you may need to edit something or you can even need to retrieve it and download it for whatever reason. Anyway, if you don't have Office on your computer, this is a great option for you. You do not have to purchase anything. It's completely free. Now, you might be wondering, why is it completely free? Well, it's completely free because it doesn't have all of the Microsoft Office features that you might be used to inside of Word, Excel, or PowerPoint. So the first thing that you need to do, and I'm going to show you the differences between uh, the online app and the full version, is the first thing you need to do is go to OneDrive.com. When you get to OneDrive.com, you'll see this up here at the top. It says try using the browser recommended by Microsoft uh, and it's Microsoft Edge. This is the browser. You're going to notice this same thing if you went to Gmail. They're going to say, hey, try using this browser from Google, Google Chrome. And as always, you hit no thanks because you use Firefox right down here. All right. No, all kidding aside, I don't care what browser you use. Any browser is fine for uh for this, for what we're doing here. And so then you'll go to sign up for free if you don't have a Microsoft account. But if you already have a Microsoft account, you'll just go to sign in, put in your username, which is an email address and a password. I do have a video on how to do this in my Windows 10 playlist. So have a look at that if you uh, need extra help with that. Now, OneDrive is really cool because it allows you to access an online version of these Office apps. And it also allows you to uh, store your files on the cloud. And so you'll see after I click sign in here that my files will show up for the account that I signed in as and there's actually something pretty cool that you could do where you can link up these OneDrive files on File Explorer and you can sync everything so that any work that you do while uh, is in here no matter the computer you're on will sync up on OneDrive and that will sync up on your home computer that way when you do get back to a computer that has Microsoft Office on it you can just open up those files directly from File Explorer if you need help with that I have a video in my Windows 10 to uh, Windows 10 playlist that will show you exactly how to sync up your computer with OneDrive so very cool keep in mind when you store files on the cloud, you're using Microsoft's servers, you're not using your own servers. So there is um, some risk uh, associated with that. So just keep in mind that they are on Microsoft servers and not uh, typically stored locally on your device. So uh, unless you download them. But anyway, uh, here we go. And I have a whole video on uh, cloud uh, and, and cloud computing in at least with storage um, in my computer fundamentals tutorial. So anyway, you get to this point and you say, all right, I need to use Microsoft Word or Excel or PowerPoint. And so here's how you do that. Now, this computer that I'm using has Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint installed on it. Um, but I'm going to pretend right now that I don't have that. So in the scenario where I don't have that, I go right up here to New. And I'm going to click on Word document just like that and it's going to open up a new tab still in Firefox or Chrome or Safari or um, you know if you're using Edge or anything like that it'll just open up a new tab and it's going to open up what appears to be a Word document now you might be wondering why do most businesses use Microsoft Word why don't they use Google Docs if Google Docs is free well Microsoft Word has way more features than Google Docs okay now you might be wondering, why don't they just use Word Online instead of the full desktop version of Word? Well, the same exact reason they don't use Google Docs at most offices is because this version of Word has way less options than the full desktop application. So this right here, whenever my students are asking me, hey, can I just use the uh, online version of Word for our Microsoft Word class? I tell them, no way. It has way, way less features. And I'm going to show you guys a couple of uh, examples of that in just a minute. So this is a good option if you don't have Microsoft Office downloaded on your device. But you'll notice immediately right up here, Home tab, Insert, Layout, Reference references, review, and view tabs, okay? But even in the home tab, you'll see here, it's not even broken into groups, really. There's not a lot of 
uh, I mean, they are, but they don't even have their names. And then there's not a lot of options here. If you compare to the compare, compare this to the full version of Word, which I'm going to click on right now because I already have a Word document open, you'll see this is an actual Word document. And look at all these different commands up at the top that are available to you. Okay, all these different commands. You'll see there's entire tabs missing from the online version here. There's not even a design tab on this, but the design tab on the full version is right here, which allows you to make all those changes to your Word document. So you're missing out on quite a bit of functionality if you only use the online version. Now keep in mind, uh, this is a great option, again, for devices that don't have Microsoft Office. And you can see that here as I open up an Excel workbook. You'll see that this online version of uh, Excel is very similar to what Google offers from Google Sheets. Okay, So it has its own specific purpose and there are times where you'd want to use this but if you can use the desktop app you're going to want to and here's why. Look at the home tab inside of Excel. A couple of options up at the top but the vast majority of functionality in this program can be found in a, a full version of Excel right here and you'll see look at all these options right up here at the top okay and then finally the same thing with PowerPoint right here you can see you could start a PowerPoint presentation or a OneNote notebook um, and I'll go over PowerPoint real quick and in PowerPoint here's your home tab this is the full version of PowerPoint compared to the online version, the app version right here. Now the other cool thing about this online version and this app version is you could actually download uh, OneDrive on your phone or a tablet, say an iPad or an Android tablet, and you can use this version in here, the app version on those as well. So it's pretty similar on, um, on like iPad and on an Android tablet. So you'll see that a lot of the options are the same as this app version. So again, this is very useful for specific use cases, but if you're someone who is working at a company, chances are you're going to have the full version of Microsoft Office installed on your device. But again, this is a good thing to know uh, that it is available should you ever not have Microsoft Office downloaded on a device that you're using. So anyway, I hope this video was useful for you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. If you want to learn more about Microsoft Office, I do have playlists on Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, and Publisher. And uh, other than that, thank you for watching and have a great rest of your day.